Hi, I'm Yasmin Hussein, and this is your weekly motoring news. Having already gone from one-off concept to road car, the crazy 545 horsepower Nissan Juke R has now been digitally recreated to feature in a new mobile racing game, Asphalt 7 Heat. Publisher Gameloft partnered with Nissan to give fans a virtual drive of both the Juke R and the Juke Nismo on their smartphones and tablets. Meanwhile, back in the real world, the very first road-going Juke R is ready for delivery. The price, depending on specification, is in excess of £400,000. Honda has announced that worldwide sales of its hybrid vehicles have just broken the 1 million mark. The milestone was reached almost 13 years after sales of the first generation Insight Coupe began in Japan in November 1999. Honda has been enhancing its IMA hybrid system over the years and now sells eight hybrid models in some 50 countries around the world, including the recently revamped CRZ Coupe, which made its debut at the 2012 Paris Motor Show. The James Bond movie franchise is celebrating its 50th anniversary with the 23rd outing for Agent 007 in Skyfall. Visit Britain has launched a huge tourism campaign to promote the home of the suave British icon. Knightsbridge department store Harrods has got in on the act by installing a Land Rover Defender in its shop window display. The rugged off-roader is featured in the opening scenes of the new film, which opens in the UK on the 26th of October. Toyota continued its record-breaking success with the TMG EV P002, setting a new electric lap record on the Nürburgring Lordschleifer circuit in Germany. Using Toyota Motorsport's electric powertrain, driver Jochen Krumbach set a time of 7 minutes 22.329 seconds, bettering the team's own record by over 25 seconds. The achievement marks the second milestone for Toyota's electric racer this year following its new record set in the United States at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb in Colorado. Maserati has confirmed that its new luxury SUV will be called the Levante. The car that appeared in concept guides as the Kubang at last year's Frankfurt Motor Show takes its name from Via Emilia Levante, in Bologna, where almost 100 years ago the Maserati brothers dreamt of the company that still bears their name. It's no coincidence that the Levante will go on sale in 2014, Maserati's centenary year. The world's first high-speed sports amphibian, the Gibbs Quadski, goes on sale in the US next month. It reaches speeds of up to 45 miles per hour on both land and water and switches from one mode to the other in less than 5 seconds. The Quadski, which was developed in the US, New Zealand and the UK, is expected to cost around $40,000. That's it for now. We'll have more of the latest motoring news stories next week.